I think Coca-Cola is one brand. And I think that the more that we slice Coca-Cola into brands with different personalities, we are really damaging the idea of Coca-Cola as a big brand because we are making it smaller. So the only thing that we are doing is reversing that and just to treat Coca-Cola just with one brand, of course, with different variants. But the variants don't need to have a different personality, a distinctive personality. They all are Coca-Cola. They all stand for the same brand values, the same shared product benefits. These are consumers. I have here one from China. This is the year of the red monkey. This is the polar bear. This is Rodolfo. This is in honor of Rodolfo Echevarria. That, by the way, is from Uruguay. Don't forget it. <laughs> and this is from a friend here in Dubai. So, basically, all these consumers love Coca-Cola. They love Coca-Cola, they drink Coca-Cola, but in a given moment, they, like me, are not drinking so much Coca-Cola because they want to control the sugar intake. And then they ask, is there, can you make Coca-Cola with no sugar? And the answer of the Coca-Cola company until now said no. If you don't want the sugar that is in this can, you need to move to these other brands. They are different brands. And they say, well, but we don't have any problem with the brand. We don't have any problem with the personality of this brand. We have the problem with the sugar. And we say, yes, but if you drink the sugar here, or you need to move there. They say, but we don't love this brand. This is for sophisticated females. And I am, you see the horns, you know, I am a male, you know. And, no, no, but you have to do so. We start pulling them, doing advertising to try them, to take them here. By the way, we lose some consumers because they don't want to come here. And at the end, we have moved some of them. That has been our strategy so far. Well, what is one brand strategy? Let's rewind. Let's go to the beginning. We have here the consumers, that they love the brand, like me. They love the company. I was going to say like me, but after 34 years, I have reasons. Well, OK, let's say that I also love the company. And they want to reduce the sugar intake. So the one brand strategy is instead of pulling them here, is just to take this and to bring the brands here. That's it. That's it. It's just to have only one brand personality, only one brand campaign where you have all this together. Yes, we are planning many big things, not just only in Coca-Cola, but in other brands. And this is just the first step. First step, that's right. I respect a lot brands that they are consistent. I think that erratic behaviors uh, really leads to disengage consumers from brands. So brands that are consistent, I think uh, are, are, are really uh, stronger, you know, within their relationship with, with uh, consumers. And I, and I think that everybody has to learn a lot about the consistency of Disney brand, you know, with their consumers. I, I really admire the work that they have done. It's both things. Taste makes reference to the product, to the taste, the unique taste of Coca-Cola. And feeling talks about emotions. We are really merging in this tagline, both things. Brand values, product benefits, intrinsics and extrinsics.